Well, there's some good news and there's some bad news with the aubergine plant. This variety is called Bonica. As you can see, we've got our first aubergine, so that will do nicely for dinner this evening. But the other thing is, we have a problem with red spider mites. Here they are, underneath one of the leaves. They're about the size of a pinhead, and as you can see, they're red. OK, let us start by harvesting our aubergine. It's important to deal with red spider mites as soon as you notice them. In a life cycle of seven days, one mite can produce 200 offspring. They lay their um, eggs on the underside of the leaves and they can do quite a lot of damage to the plants. There's various ways of dealing with them. They cope best in um, dry warm conditions so people say that sort of misting can actually help. I'm using a spray designed for fruit and vegetables but I still don't like indiscriminately spraying it around in the greenhouse and it's actually quite difficult to accurately hit the underside of leaves so the strategy I'm using is to spray make quite some damp the end of a paintbrush and then start at the top leaves there's not many bugs on this one because I've been doing this regularly for the last couple of days since I noticed them and then brush off the um, red spider mites with the brush um, which at the same time is coated with the bug killer they're quite agile in terms of getting onto the leaves but they're not very good at holding on. They, the, the, you just give them a little knock and they, they bounce off. And again, in terms of doing this thing about just brushing them off the plant, do it like you're hoovering the staircase. Start at the top and work down because obviously some of the ones that drop off the, the top leaves are going to end up on the lower leaves. And obviously when you get ones like this on the bottom, which are, have actually been quite damaged, I'd be inclined to take the, the leaves off. And I think this is managing them. I mean, it needs a daily look, but then the greenhouse needs a daily look. The garden changes so rapidly at this time of year that if you don't watch and see what's happening, um, it's very easy for something like red spider mites to get out of control. Well I'll keep doing both of those plants until they're all completely clear and hopefully we can fight off the red spider mites until we've had a few more of those aubergines.